We look at the past seven earnings releases for Intel, we see that three were misses. If you were to go to the casino, or excuse me, Wall Street Bets, and drop calls on Intel stock, you may assume you would have been right four out of seven times. Not bad, right? Well, not quite. Just because a stock beats earnings doesn't mean the stock goes to the moon. What's more important than today? Well, tomorrow is more important, and that's where guidance comes in. There may be an earnings beat, but if the guidance or forecast comes in weak, just like how much I can or rather can't bench, then the stock is going to drop. So what am I trying to say here? Gambling, or rather, excuse me, investing in out-of-the-money near expiration date options, especially during earnings, are hard to do. You might as well go wire your Robinhood account to Charles Schwab as a donation. To deliver this message home, let's calculate the probability of getting all seven earnings outcomes correctly in a row. We can consider the stock's reaction as a binary event. Either the stock goes up or the stock goes down. This means that the probability of the stock going up is 50%. To get seven correct predictions in a row for a binary event, we can take 1 over 2 to the power of 7. This means that we have a 0.78% probability of being right seven times in a row. Not great odds, is it? You might be saying, well, I don't need to be right every single time. What about a couple times just so that I could afford to eat out this month? Well, what about just being right four times in the past seven earnings? We can calculate this using the binomial coefficient. After some fun math, we get a probability of 27%, still pretty low. The potential return on close to expiration out of the money calls are even worse when there is no known catalyst that may give you a final miracle in making money. So why not be on the winning side of these trades? This is where covered calls come in. Let's say you're bullish on Intel. They're a historic player in chips who simply need restructuring and a pivot towards GPUs to compete in the AI market. Plus, they're currently trading below their book value. You only want to perform the covered call strategy on stocks you believe will go up in value in the long term. You can buy 100 shares of Intel and then sell a call against your 100 shares to collect premium. Someone else purchased the call you just sold someone who clearly enjoys risk. You introduced risk towards your 100 shares because there is a chance that Intel's stock price goes past your strike price. The strike price is the stock price you need to sell the stock for to the option holder. You're rewarded for taking on this risk in the form of a premium you collect. But how do you know which call option to sell? You can calculate the probability of a stock going X percent within a duration of time using historic data. I have a coding video on how to calculate the probability of stock price returns in the top right. For example, the probability of Intel going up 4% or more within 5 days is only 16.4%. Therefore, you are collecting premium without assignment 83.6% of the time. I personally enjoy selling weekly covered calls to lower risk. When there's more time between today and the expiration date, there's more time for the stock price to rise past your strike price. You might think, okay, but collecting only $40 in premium doesn't sound like a lot. I'd rather make potential thousands by buying call options. Yes, $40 may seem small in comparison, but consistency here is your friend. Let's say I sold Intel covered calls that generate $36 in premium each week. Multiply 36 by 4 and get 144 per month. Times this by 12 and that's $1,728 in premium every year off an initial $2,300 investment into Intel. Unfortunately, 83.6% does not equal 100%, so you may face assignment. And this is where your risk comes in. Besides your assignment of subscribing to the channel, assignment is when you are forced to sell 100 shares at the agreed upon strike price because the stock appreciated past this strike price. You will still experience capital gains, but you will lose out in the form of opportunity cost. You could have made more money simply by holding shares. But the premium you collect cushions these assignments, plus the odds are in your favor. 
Again, you want to only sell covered calls on a stock you believe will go up in value over time. You don't want to chase premium on a stock that is degrading in value anyway. Some stocks I personally like are Amazon and Google. The premium is decent, and I forecast that these two stocks will be above $200 soon. Hope this video helps you understand the covered call option strategy. Let me know if you enjoy this content by liking and subscribing, and I appreciate you watching the video. Check out Entrendias.com for buy and sell signals on stocks, cryptos, and ETFs.